welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Today is a very special day because I've been sent a present by my Auntie Betty. Now, where is it? Hey, can you see where it is? What, over here? It's not there. Where? What, over here? Oh, it's not there either. Oh. Now, where can it be? <laughs> Fold you! Oh, <laughs> very funny, small. <laughs> Hello! Right, let's see what Auntie Betty sent. Open up the box. Here we are. Lift off the lid. Oh, look! Auntie Betty sent me a woolly jumper. Oh. Hey, it's made out of wool, and wool comes from sheep. <laughs> Let's see it on, shall we? Oh, yes. It must have taken ages for Auntie Betty to knit that. Oh, it's lovely. Hey, now where's a mirror so I can see it on? Um, oh, the cooker. Oh, that looks great on you, Ben. Oh, no. I can't see anything in there. Where's that mirror? I'm sure it was here somewhere. No, not in there. Where could it be, Small? Ben! Oh, Ben! I'm sure I've left it somewhere. What about round here? It's Auntie Betty's jumper. It's... 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 Hey, hey yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, it's all unravelling, Small! Oh, poor Auntie Betty! What am I going to do? Oh. oh, we've got a customer, Small! You better go and see who it is, and I'll try and sort this jumper out. What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer, Small? I'll give you a clue. It's someone who's lost something. Well, lots of things, actually. Things that go... Bah! <laughs> sheep. Someone who's lost her sheep. And that person is Little Bo Peep. Really? Little Bo Peep's come to our cafe? Oh, yes. I bet she's hungry, though, Small. So what are we going to cook for Little Bo Peep, who's lost her sheep? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. One day, Little Bo Peep was sitting alone knitting. Hello, Little Bo Peep. I said, what are you knitting? Oh, said Little Bo Peep sadly, I'm just missing. You see, I'm feeling very, very sad because I've lost all my sheep. Why don't we try calling your sheep? I said. Maybe they'll come back if you call them. Oh, I've tried that, <laughs> sniffed Little Bo Peep. Listen, come back. Come back, sheep! Come back! Oh, it was the loudest shouting I had ever heard. It made me cover my ears. No wonder the sheep weren't coming back. Little Bo Peep, I said, I think I've got a better idea. Maybe your sheep don't like shouting, I said. Maybe they like singing. Oh, yes, said Little Bo Peep. And so I played the guitar. And Little Bo Peep sang along. Sheep, 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 sheep. It was an awful racket. I had another think, and then I said, 
Why don't we try this? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She doesn't know where to find them. Sing them a song. They'll come along, wagging their tails behind them. And the sheep came back. They liked the song Little Bo Peep and I were singing so much that they were back in no time. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. You're right, Small, but we still don't know what to make for Bo Peep to eat. Way! Time for some serious thinking, Ben. That's right. What does someone who's lost their sheep want for a tasty snack? <gasps> oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book does recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Yes, here it is. The very thing for Little Bo Peep. A potato sheep. We turn a potato into a sheep. What a clever idea. Come on then, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need olives. OK, in the cupboard. Here we are. Olives. Got them, Small. A baking potato. Oh, in the fridge. One potato. Got it. Cheese. Oh, yes. Lovely cheese. Oh. And thick yoghurt. 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 Oh, don't seem to have any of that. Right. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from the yoghurt. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some. Woohoo! Righto, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go, small, go, small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a lovely day! These sheep are in a hurry. What are they up to? The farmer is attaching some pipes to the sheep so they can be milked. That's the sheep's milk. Mmm, delicious. This milk is going to be used to make yoghurt. First of all, the milk has to be heated up and stirred in this machine. Then it has to be cooled down again. Before the yoghurt can be eaten, it has to be poured into pots and left in the fridge for a while. A pot of delicious yoghurt made from sheep's milk. Better get back to the cafe. Bye! <laughs> Way! I'm back! Did you get the yoghurt? I certainly did! <whistles> wow! Hoo -hoo. It was brilliant, Ben! I saw how sheep's yoghurt is made. And I even met a few sheep as well. <laughs> <laughs> Any sign of little Bo Peep sheep? Nope. Still lost. We'd better make her a tasty snack to cheer her up. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. 
You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Bo Peep's sheep? You do? There were olives. Two. Chopped up. A baking potato. One. Cheese. One cup. Grated. And thick yoghurt. Three teaspoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing to do is put the potato onto a greased baking tray. There we are. And then I'm going to prick it with a fork. There we go. And again, turn it over. And one there. And another one there. This will help it to cook. And then let's put it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. Over we go. Just leave that there. Open the oven. And in it goes. Great. And I'm going to set the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, gas mark 8. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Keep it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll set the timer. There we go. 45. <laughs> Ready! Take out the potato. Great! Let's turn it into a sheep. Not yet, Small. We've got to let it cool down first. Just enough so we can touch it with our fingers without getting burnt. OK, OK. We won't turn it into a sheep yet. We'll wait. Sheep? Wool? Oh, jumpers! What am I going to do about my jumper, Small? What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? Oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, Ben. We'll sort it out later. Has the potato cooled yet? Let's see. Yes, it has, Small. It's cool enough to touch. Hooray! Now let's turn it into a sheep. I've cut the potato in half. There we are. And I'm going to scoop out the fluffy potato. Nice and soft. Careful. Out it comes. Pop it into a bowl. There we are. Hee-hee! <laughs> it's fluffy, just like a fluffy sheep. <laughs> yes, it is small. So, all the potato into the bowl. And I'm going to add some of the grated cheese. In it goes. A little bit more. There we go. I put in most of it there. And finally, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the yoghurt. One and two. And then mix it all up together. Ben, what happened to the rest of the potato? The brown crispy bits on the outside? The potato skins? They're here small. They're very important, those bits, aren't they, Ben? Yes, they are. Because I'm now going to spoon the fluffy, yogurty, cheesy mixture back into the potato skins. So, spoonful into this one. A little bit more. There we go. Fill it up. And then to do the other one. In it goes. Back in the skin. In you go. And I think one more little spoonful. Pop that there. And finally, I'm going to add the rest of the grated cheese. Sprinkle it over. Oh, yes, very nice. And now it's time to put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Yes, it is small. So, oven gloves out. Pop the potatoes onto a baking tray. And take them back over to the oven. Here we are. Pop them there. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer. For 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes, all 
well done. And all lovely and golden. It doesn't look that much like a sheep, but that's what we do next. So, I'm going to pop this potato onto a plate. There we go. And now, I'm going to take one more blob of yoghurt and pop it on. There we are. This is going to be the sheep's face. Remember the olives? Well, here's where you find out what we do with them. They're going to be used for the sheep's eyes. Hey, <laughs> one there and another one there. Let's give her some ears as well. There we go. Pop another one round here. And not to forget the sheep's legs at the bottom. There we go, two there. And another two up the front. Oh, she looks great. Ha! You mean ba? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to finish her off with a few sprigs of parsley. There. Let's get it off to little Bo Peep. One Bo Peep sheep coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, and it looks like Bo Peeps enjoyed her potato sheep and look small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Oh, it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my Bo Peep sheep. It was delicious. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Here's two presents for you both to say thank you. Big Cook and Little Cook. Oh, what could it be? Oh, look small. It's another woolly jumper. And it's just like the one that Auntie Betty gave me. Now you won't have to tell her about what happened to the first one. Hooray! <laughs> oh. oh, and look small. There's something else in here for you. A little Bo Peep hat just for me. <laughs> here you go, small. Thanks, Ben. Hee <laughs> hee! What do you think? Hoo-hoo! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, do you mean? Bah! <laughs> <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook forever.